Okay, let's do the Coke Diet Coke problem and let's start with our uh, format of our six step test. And so our first step is going to be our hypotheses. Our null hypothesis is that the variation of Coke equals the variation in the weight of the Diet Coke cans. Now on Stat Crunch, they're going to talk about this as a ratio. And so if this is true, if they're equal, then that ratio will be 1. So these are both alternative ways to write your hypothesis. Then our alternative, because the problem doesn't say a direction, just are they the same or are they different, we're going to say that the Coke is not equal to the variation of the Diet Coke or continuing the pattern of the uh, ratio, the variation of Coke over the variation of Diet Coke is not equal to 1. Okay, uh, we're going to set our alpha and we're going to summarize our data just so that we have it handy. So when we have Coke, uh, there's 36 cans in our sample. The mean uh, weight of the can is 0 0.81682 pounds. Um, and our standard deviation is going to be 0 0.00751 pounds. Our Diet Coke There's also 36 in the sample. The mean weight of our Diet Coke cans is uh, 0.78479 pounds. And the standard deviation of our Diet Coke is 0.00439 pounds. Okay, now um, in your book it said that the larger standard deviation is always your group 1. So that's going to be our Coke and then our Diet Coke will be group 2. So now in step 4 we're going to write the formula of what we're going to do. We're going to use an F test and our F ratio is our variation of sample 1 over our variation in sample 2. Okay, now this is where we're going to go to uh, StatCrunch and actually do the math. So let's do that. And so I'm going to go to Stat and I'm going to do Variance Statistics to Sample, but I'm going to go down to With Summary. All right. And let's go ahead and let's uh, put our data in. So our variance was, oh man, we've got to square that. So let's go back. Um, I'm going to square 0 0.00751. And you can see what I get. So now let's see if I can cut and paste that. Copy. Now let's go back to our whiteboard. Nope, sorry. We got to go back to our stat crunch, don't we? And let's see if we can paste that. Yay, it works. Our sample size is 36. Um, let's do our variance for the Diet Coke, and that's going to be 0.00439 squared. Let's copy that. Let's go back to our stat crunch, paste that in. And my sample size was 36 again.
My null hypothesis is that they're equal, so it's equal to 1, and my alternative was they were not equal, so then the ratio would not be equal to 1. I'm going to compute, and there I have my statistic. So there's my F statistic right there, and my p-value. Let's see if I can copy this. And I'm going to take this back to my whiteboard. And let's see if I can paste it in there. No, so let's undo that. So let's go back to StatCrunch. Oh, an easier way to do it than to do all that is I have my snipping tool uh, on my toolbar, and I'm going to use that. And I'm going to snip my results. And I'm going to copy this. And I'll take that back to my whiteboard. And there it is. I'm going to make it just a little bit bigger. So I can actually see it. So there is my F statistic, 2.926655, and my p-value. Now, this is where we need to then finish up. So remember that if my p-value is less than alpha, then this is statistically significant. And that is true because 0 0.002 is less than 0 0.05. So that means in step 5 we can reject our null hypothesis. And then in step 6 we need to put it into everyday language. These data suggest that the variation in weights of Coke and Diet Coke is not the same. Okay, and we're done. Now where might this be important? Well, this might be important if you are the engineer trying to figure out uh, uh, how to set maybe the uh, pop machines to see how it has to handle the different weights of uh, the cans or the bottles of the same size. So there are reasons for this. I hope this is illustrative.